Hello everyone, my name is Alex Kononov and today I want you to introduce you to my web app UWISE, um, AI native platform as a deal to simplify real estate, to help you to go from property address to real offer in minutes. So here's what we have. This is the main workflow panel. On the left side, you have workflows is your deals underwriting deal flow. You can say you have all the deals that is still in progress or you already completed. And on the right side, right in the middle, you have a little map where you can click on and you can see what property was there. You can zoom in to a specific city and street and you will see it and you can just open the workflow and we'll see what kind of offer you already tried to do there and what was your logic behind it. So let's start a new workflow. First and foremost, you put a property address. So, okay, let's try this one, 288 Valencia, Circle, St. Petersburg, Florida. Instant validation of the property address, must do. And you have to choose the property you're trying to underwrite. We have only a few ones to choose from, single family, small multifamily, large multifamily for now, commercial, and we'll add more property types later. So you can do, alternatively, you can upload a broker sheet if you have, if it's listed on the market or offer a memorandum or investor deck if you're just a passive investor and will pitch the opportunity. Okay, confirm and start the process. The first thing is all about factual details, where you connect all the data and you have some of the important information that you need to underwrite. Property address, single family type, class of the building, bedroom, bathroom counts, and square footage. Okay, let's go to the next step. Next step is about market trends and market analysis in general. In this step, we would like to know what market trends for vacancy rates. If we have one unit up single family, we have three bedrooms count. So we have our low estimate market value estimated and high estimate for high finishes, high end finishes in the area. And you have your hardware market trend. The one who doesn't know, make a research is affordability index for this particular zip code and sub market. I have rental compatibles with distance nearby, how much is it renting right now? And you have sales compatibles, which is a must for single family, small to family. Also you have downtown amenities, how far is located, if there's a little building up to five miles. We want to know if there's retail like this. Also universities, hospitals, we add in here. Uh, now by each zip code, you have median household income and all the information, and you have gross driver and risk factors, which you, you can click and you go to the next step. Okay, let's go to the next step with all the data that we received. This stage is all about assumptions on step three. So you have your market trend, which you can modify if you want to do high-end finishes. You have market vacancy red, expense ratio it's supposed to be for this area, for this kind of building. And you have your offer discount. You kind of offer buffer RV that you can modify. It depends on your strategy, how you want to aggressive. And you have income growth and expense growth in this sub market, which you can also modify. And renovation schedule, how much is renovation? So now we have step four, stabilized in RV value. We have based on comps, we have price per square foot. We have RV price and now offer price. Offer price is your offer with your stabilized value minus uh, 75 cents on a dollar. If we buy it, that's what we wanted. I want it for my refinancing strategy and minus renovation. Uh, and we also calculate market NOI, how much is going to be net operating income is income minus expenses. And we go to the next stage after that. And the next stage is your just a summary stage. We'll add some charts to show 30 year projections. Um, and we will have it all summarized here, which you can download as PDF or you can complete and go to the next stage. In tools and resources, you can go and you choose personalized letter. And let's draw personalized letter for this one. So you choose personalized letter, the property address that we have. The next is that you need to fill out once and it will remember your choice. And next step, you already have your offer personalized letter for all your future offers. You just need pre property address and it will have a draft for you to simplify your life. The same counts for letter of intent for commercial properties. It has similar flow, but a little bit different logic because commercial property and derivative different based on net property income and cap rate in the area, your income and expenses, but still you will get you to the violation stabilized value in a mere minutes and you can go to letter of an eye, letter of intent. Thank you.